My name's Jeff Boyce. Uh, I live in Stonington, Maine. I've been a fisherman all my life, passed down from my grandfather and my father. Back when I was in high school, and in, in, in grade school, my dad fished Pickering's Cove. My uncle fished the cove up in front of the Clam Digger restaurant, and my other uncle fished the cove over in the causeway. And when the fishery took a little dive a few years back, and the canneries all moved to Canada. Uh, I'm about the only one that hung on to the fishery. Now it's not more of a food fish fishery, it's a bait fishery. You know, it, it involves a lot more gear than you do persaining because you have to have dories, you have to have nets, a lot of anchors. Uh, couple of persanes, you know, for different depths of water. 12, 1500 fathom of net. A lot of net. <laughs> Stop saning is an old type fishery. It's one of the original fisheries other than the fish wares. Over the years it's evolved into persaining, which the guys go out in the bigger boats and chase the fish and set the net around the fish. And midwater trawling, which is dragging a big net behind your boat to catch the fish. And it's really put a hurt in on the inshore fisheries because these guys get into the schools of fish before they come inshore. And as a result, Stop Sanin's kind of died out. There's very few outfits left on the coast. There's a couple in Stonington, and I happen to be one of them. Yeah. Fishermen, they all know when we got them. They're all on the radio calling. And word gets around the island here pretty quick. Factories have to mostly depend on the persainers and the midwater trawlers, which don't get the quality fish. The stop sainers really get the quality fish because you can hold them in your net till the feed works out of them. When they're persaining, they can't hold their fish. They have to pump them right out, you know. And as a result, a lot of the a lot of the fish that the factories have gotten have been rejected. And when you reject fish, you can't get any more fish. You just what are you going to pack? You know? So overall, the, I think the, the other ways that they catch herring and really put it hurting on the coast of Maine, as far as the factories closing down because they couldn't get the quality fish, and the Perseinas and midwater trawlers catching the spawn herring before they put any rules and regulations on it. Canada still buys herring for food, but they pay a little over five dollars a bushel. Whereas the bait I can sell for twenty dollars a bushel. So you're not going to call Canada to come down and get five hundred bushel of herring for, for sardines. Years ago, I've seen as many as 20,000 bushel of fish taken out of the Causeway Cove in one set. You know, we'd set a cove and, and you'd fill 10 sardine carriers from it. But 
now I think fishing on the upswing. And now that they're on the upswing, they won't let us catch them when they're here. So, you know, what are you going to do? Fish we could have caught have swum to Canada, and they're catching them. We have to buy them back for bait. I mean, it makes no sense to me. I have a pretty good crew. They're quick and they pick up on stuff quick. But when I'm done doing it, I don't know if they're going to carry on.